Oh, hello guys. What's going on? We are doing a little tour of this replica 3D model built in Unreal Engine of the Enterprise D. Now, I'm a huge fan of Star Trek The Next Generation. It is my favorite Star Trek series in the whole wide world. And so I thought it's, it's nice to do a little video and also support this project because this is a fan-made project. A bunch of guys are very passionate uh, about the design and the, the ship in general and, and the TV show and all that. So they decided to recreate it in Unreal Engine and it looks stunning. It's really like a childhood dream coming true. You can finally explore the Enterprise D uh, on your own. Uh, you can download this. This is completely for free. If you go to stage-9.co.uk, uh, there's a download, there's a Mac version, there's a PC version. I think there's even an Android version, if I'm not mistaken. They are at the moment working on a VR version as well, so there will be some kind of virtual reality experience coming our way on this, and I can't wait for that. That's gonna be amazing. Uh, so let's look around a little bit. We, we're greeted here by what looks to be like Chief O'Brien. It's a lovely model, look at him. He's just creepily looking at every single step that I'm doing. Sir, what are you doing? You have no permission to be here. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Chief O'Brien at all, I guess. I'd say the eyes are a little bit close together, right? I mean, it, it's clearly him. It's a great model. But if we can move the eyes a little... Anyway, I shouldn't criticize this because they're doing a fantastic job in doing all this. And I mean, just look at like the detail in this, this transporter, you know, the reflections. It just looks stunning. And they really make great use of the Unreal Engine. This is version 0.0.10. So by no means this is a finished mod or anything. But... It's already very, you know, it feels quite polished in parts. Uh, you can see it gets a bit of FPS stuttering uh, here and there. It's it's not all done. Um, but yeah, it's it's just worth exploring and walking around. So <clears throat> it, it's just, you know, I love just walking through these corridors. I think they've actually added people. Previously, it always was very empty and there was nobody around, like right now, which makes it a bit eerie and a bit creepy. But, uh, yeah, I think they added people. And, and to be honest, oh, there's someone. At times, they're also quite creepy, uh, the people, because they just stop like him and they just look at you. And it's like, oh, I'm going the other way. Oh, no, I'm not having that. Okay. Not all rooms are accessible. I think they focused on, like, key sets from the TV show for now, obviously. So you got Ten Forward, you got Wolf's Quarters, you got the Arboretum. You've got the bridge, you've got the, the ready room and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to take you through all these rooms, or at least most of them. It's a giant ship, so I don't know if I can find all of them. Uh, but yeah, let, let's see let's see where we get to. Um, again, visit stage-9. I'll put it down in the description as well, uh, .co.uk, and, and download it for yourself so you can have your own little wonder around. Wait a second! The transporter room, but it's, it's different. Let's go into the turbo lift. Let's see where we get to. Oh, we got like FPS issues here. I did I did bump most of the stuff up to like quite high detail, so it's understandable. So we can choose our mouse here to select room. So let's go. Let's start with the bridge, shall we? Everyone wants to see the bridge. So let's go to that. Going up, going down, flying around. So what they did, I think, which is quite interesting, they did not look at the set pieces and build... Oh, oh boy, I think that happens sometimes. You just have to wait a moment for it to load. I think it's also because I'm recording now, so that takes a lot of CPU and, and GPU power and generally slows down the machine. So it might take a moment for this to pop up. When I'm not recording, this is not happening. So it's just if I dedicate the resources to that. So they took the plans because there are plans of the enterprise d and build the ship according to that uh, that's why sometimes i feel some of the rooms seem to have slightly different proportions right you feel like hmm, this seems bigger on tv or whatnot uh, but in general it's it's really spot on and i appreciate that they literally try to um, replicate it you know based on those those plants, which is, is very ambitious. You, you got to appreciate the effort that these guys are putting in. So look at the bridge. I mean, it's ah, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Uh, it's just it's just a nice... I mean, a few details that you could criticize. It's not really a critique. I think it's, it's close to perfection. I think this wooden panel here is very shiny. It's very glossy, isn't it? 
I don't think it's like that in the TV show. Not that glossy. You can go here and then. Oh, music kicks in. That's it. And you can actually be Jean-Luc Picard. You can sit down and uh, give Data some commands right there. See, that's how it feels. That's an angle we, we rarely or never see in the TV show. It is it is lovely. I mean, for a fan of the show, it's beautiful. <clears throat> Another thing I noticed that's maybe not 100% accurate is that there is like a, the sun coming through this this visor. Um, all this stuff might be stuff that they still want to change. Like I said, it's like early pre-alpha, basically. So to criticize it is, is ridiculous, really. But, you know, I've never seen the sun coming through this visor screen and casting a shadow. Uh, but again, I'm sure they're they're working on it. And there it is. Space. The final frontier. Can I jump out through the screen? No, I can't do that. Okay. Uh, we can check Picard's ready room. If it loads, if it decides to load. We can do that. Um, it's, it's, it's funny because I was looking for like making off videos of, uh, you know... Star Trek The Next Generation where they show all the set pieces and, and how you know how big they actually are and what's real and what's not. But they don't do this. There's not much footage of that to be found. And I think that's a good thing actually, because they don't destroy the illusion, right? You still feel like it's a complete room, the ready room. And if you would cut it off here and you see cameras in the studio back there, then it would kind of take the illusion away. So what they do is, you know card here obviously we can't interact with people but we can interact with objects so look at that we got like a little what are they called i don't know how they're called a scanner you know we can scan a hardcore star trek fans are going to bash me for this you don't know what it is if you're not even a star trek fan fine i'll drop it right there this is also from a famous episode you might remember this when uh, one of the old professors visits picard on on his spaceship on the enterprise and brings like this ancient piece of uh, craftsmanship, or, like stone carving with him. And Picard is very impressed. So they put a lot of detail. I mean, look at the detail, you know, of objects like this. It's really, really nice. It's very well done. And you can just see the passion that these guys are putting into, into this project. Oh, am I drinking the Earl Grey? Drink it. No, I drop it on the floor. Come on, you must be able to drink the Earl Grey. No? Okay, we can't do that. I haven't I haven't looked around too much in this game. What do I call the game in this mod? Um, so I'm kind of exploring it as I go along. But yeah, obviously, uh, Picard's ready room is littered with loads of memorabilia from the TV show. Uh, what's interesting is that because you know it's it's not a set piece. In in the set piece, you always see it from certain angles that are beneficial to the show. But back here, you. You have basically a room that has the the replicator where he gets his old gray from. But besides that, it's, there's, there's just nothing there, right? Like it's an empty room because this corner is just never really seen in the show. So what are you going to do with it? I don't know. And I, I'm, I still, I think they're still working on it and it, it's great. But it, it's fun for me to see these little, you know, corners and, and details that is ne are never discovered in the show. So what do we have here? I remember this book as well. I can't recall the episode, but I do remember that in being one of them. The famous painting. It is the original hanging in Picard's quarters of the Enterprise D. So beautiful. I think this ready room is just, they nailed it. It looks so authentic. It looks so good. Maybe a bit more detail here on this on this uh, fish tank, right? At the moment, it, it is just a, it's just an image be nice to have a real little fish swimming around in it but you know who am i to complain it looks fantastic it really does so i'm i'm very pleased let's go and take a look at uh, you know the the other rooms that we get back here so the lounge the observer observing lounge what's this oh you can't go in there yet okay so that's also a room that we never see so they they take these cues from from the plants, right? And you look at the plants, there's like their stairs going down, and that's how you actually get to the observer's lounge, um, which should be opening now. Look at that. <gasps> look at it. It is perfect. It is just absolutely perfect. And for like a Star Trek fan, it is an amazing revelation to 
to walk around in this and uh, just look at it, you know. I don't even want to interact with it. I'm not even sure I want this to be some kind of game with missions and all that. I just want to walk around in it and admire the beauty of the set pieces. So here we go. Crew manifest database. Lieutenant record. Is this is this like a reference to a show? Ensign McLean. Hmm. Anyway, so we get that, which is nice. And again, I love the furniture. I just love the whole thing. I mean, look at look at this. Beautiful. Another difference I notice is that here, obviously, because it is a big 3D model, you look through the windows and you can see the surface of the Enterprise. And I believe in the show, the only thing you see is stars. Uh, whenever you look outside the ship, it was the same in the ready room of Picard's ready room. You only get the stars. Uh, here you do get the hull and the exterior of the ship. I don't think you can go down here. No, nope, that's nothing. So we need to go back to the turbo lift. Oh, oh god, no! Ah, I'm falling! All right, so what I can do now is there's an emergency transport because they're working on it. There obviously is, um, you know, it is it is considered that this kind of stuff will happen. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Wait a second. It's a bit... It's, ah, I can't move. Ah, okay, okay. Still struggling with the controls a bit. Um, how can I go back? Can I go back? Select destination. How can I? Oh, no, no, I don't even want to go. Oh, back. Here it is. I missed it. My fault. Okay, here we go. So let's go here. We've got data's quarters, wharf's quarters, the cargo elevator, the escape pods, and the crew launch. Let's go there. Um, I don't know. There seem to be different turbo lifts on that deck. Let's just go to the first one and see what we can find. This turbo lift is taking forever. I didn't know it takes that long to go from one deck to another. But okay. Here we are. Okay, the escape pods. Here we go. So, I don't recall seeing those in the show. I don't know where they took that design from. Oh, that's nice. You see how the light just came on. Can I actually go inside? That's, that's not good for an escape pod, is it? Like, everyone in the escape pods, I can't get in! Nobody can escape, because the escape pods are not accessible. Geology lab. I think this one is another escape pod. That is nice. Uh, I don't know how many they actually had on the Enterprise, because it's a quite big crew. They would need plenty of those. Cybernetics lab. So I think they have all the accurate... Names on the doors, the science lab. Is that crew launch? Can I go on this? No. Um, but obviously the rooms have not been modeled up yet. But I'm sure the guys are hard at work to make that happen. And I think, if did I mention that earlier? I think they're always looking for people who have 3D skills and people who are willing to contribute to this project because it really is just a community-driven project of people who, you know, invest their free time in building this. So... If you've got the skill set to work up models and possibly contribute to this, let them know. You know hit them up on Twitter, uh, or go to their website, send them an email, get in touch. I'm sure they'd be happy to bring you on board and give you a chance to contribute to this fantastic project. That's a turbo lift. So where's, where's Data's quarter? Where is all that? Crew launch. Oh, look at that. I love this kind of stuff. I mean, it's... Look at these awkward people running around. They all have nothing to do, right? They're like, oh, I came to Starfleet to get some work done, but now there's literally nothing I can do. Just standing around. Okay, so he comes in here, stands there a bit and walks back. Obviously, they're still working on the, those, you know, AIs and NPCs walking around. So, so it's, I'm making fun of it, but it's already quite impressive uh, how it all works. So... This is the cargo lift, I believe. So you could... Can we push a button so this whole thing goes up and down? Is that possible? I don't know if you can interact with it, actually. Here we go. Activate tractor beam. Oh, where is the tractor beam? It's not working, is it? Maybe I'm messing it up. Maybe I don't know. I just don't know how it works. All right, let's try the other side. Maybe this one's working. 
click, click. No, it's not doing it. That's fine. No problem at all. Um, so yeah, I love these these kind of really weird, awkward 90s looking spaces. Like this is a communal space where people are supposed to hang out and, you know, spend a bit of leisure time. But it's just awkward. It's just weird. But nonetheless, I love it. You know, I, I just really love the design. It's fantastic. All those carpeted floors and all. What do we have here? Another escape pod. So they do have quite a lot of escape pods, which is good. Lieutenant Commander Worf. Let's take a look at, at Worf's quarter. Maybe not run inside. Oh, music's kicking in. Amazing. So we've got Klingon art hanging on the walls. We've got a painting right here. I don't know what that is. Pretty sure it's from a, an episode. We got the, how do you call this in English? I only know the German term. Bat, bat left. Is it a bat left? Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure hardcore Trekkies are just gonna hate me for not knowing all these terms. But believe me, guys, I am a big fan of the show. I really am. And I remember the other, th the other one's called a tricorder. You see, it just came back. A tricorder, okay? Sorry that I occasionally blank on the correct terminology. Um, that knife. And you see, this is another corner that you probably no never see in the TV show. So it's just awkwardly empty and just looking at the show you don't know what you should put there because it's never shown i assume it's open and then there's a camera here for some scenes uh, what's oh that's the thing i threw on this bed I, I can't crouch i think can i crouch no oh look i get a third person that's cool i didn't know get a third person perspective so yeah lieutenant wolf's quarters that's what they are Apparently, Lieutenant Worf does not need a restroom or a toilet. It's not something that Klingons do. They do not <coughs> poop. Right. Let's take a look if we can find Data's, data's quarters. Oh, I think there it is. Lieutenant Commander Data. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That is really, really neat. And we get a little hologram there that we know from the episodes of Tasha Yar, who had a very special relationship with Lieutenant Commander Data. Oh, a phaser. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Maybe cause a bit of havoc. Yeah, do a bit of a shooting around the around the Enterprise. I believe this is a Palam Blinky Palamo painting. Here we go. I remember seeing that in the show. Yes, it is. It is there. Uh, what's that? Oh, I don't. I don't recall what episode that was from. I mean, I know that Data has a fascination for poker, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. I don't remember this device in particular. There's another tricorder there. Oh, yeah, the pipe. Right, his Sherlock Holmes pipe we've got that right there built in really lovely detail as well and i remember this piece was given to him by uh, there's one episode where he actually has a girlfriend where he where this girl falls in love with him and then they, they have a, a short relationship and she wants to make his apartment or his room a little bit nicer so she brings him this and puts it in his room i believe that's what it is if i'm if i'm talking bullshit guys then correct me down in the comments because i really might get the facts wrong i don't think so but I might. Let's take a look if we can go back here. No? All right. So absolutely beautiful. It looks fantastic. Built in with so much love to detail. It's, yeah, I just really appreciate all this. Fantastic. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to. I want to take the phaser. Oh, I can sit down. Cool. I didn't know that. Okay, let's, let's take the phaser again and go out. So we've seen Lieutenant Worf's quarters, Data's quarters. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, the crew lounge. This is not 10 forward, obviously, as you can see. It's just one of those crew lounges where, you know, the crew can hang out, spend a bit of time, have a drink, and unwind from the stressful duty at Starfleet. And again, fantastic how they replicated the furniture, how they made it all feel just like the TV show. 
What, what happened there? Did his head just move weirdly? Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, look at that. I triggered an alarm. Oh, look. <laughs> look how they wobble around. He's not bothered. He's like, well, I might be next, but I hope to die anyway. <laughs> I love how they fall forward. <laughs> this is amazing. Let me check this out. Now I gotta do it with everyone. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that went right through him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at him bending and twisting. That looks painful. I just, you know, I put the phaser to uh, to sleep mode. They're all just sleeping. They're still still fine. Nothing happened. It's all good. Okay, so where are we now? I have no idea where I'm going, really. Well, there's escape pods. Let's see if we can go here. This is a maze. What would be useful is to have like a map. If I would press M or something and you see like a top-down map. I get that they don't want to break the immersion probably. Uh, we got red alert now. You can shut that off, guys. I'm not that dangerous. So you can clearly see it's a science vessel, right? There are so many labs and and just rooms that are only for sciencey stuff. Storage can't go in there. What else was here? Let me just check the list. What was there? Data was cargo elevator. We've seen this escape pods and crew lounge. Okay, so we've seen everything. Okay, cool. So then let's go to. Uh, can I? I have to drop this here, maybe. I think I might need to drop it. Ah, don't run so fast. Okay. Let's see what we have here. The shuttle bay, the transporter rooms. We've seen this. A science lab. Yeah, we should see the see the science lab, should we? Central corridor. Look at those plants. Look at all the detail. It's just a monster project to have the ambition to rebuild all this, you know. Absolutely monstrous. Again, it takes forever. And here we are. Transporter rooms. We've been there. Done that. Oh, the science lab. I found it. That is well hidden. Way in the back. Here we go. Oh, that is cool. I love that. Oh, look, look at that. Oh, man. It's just beautiful. I wish I had still my phaser so I can make him wiggle around. I lost that somewhere. That is so neat. Really cool. Again, feels so much like the actual show. What's interesting is that this has like a really high ceiling, right? While, let's say, the corridors, see, they've got a very low ceiling, so I don't know how that's going to work with, like, a floor above. Uh, but, hey, okay, well, you know, what do we know? Whoever designed the ship surely knew what they were doing. Also, all these panels, that's something I didn't look at uh, on the bridge, I think, enough. I think these panels are just brilliant, like, they used to uh, be much more simplified. I think the latest version, they added a lot of detail to those and they just look so good, right? They just look exactly how they're supposed to look. So there we go. That's the science lab. It would be cool to be able to do some sciencey stuff around here. Hey, can I? Can I click something? No. Just testing if anything here is... Oh, yeah, you can click it and it makes a little beepy noise, but I'm clearly not a scientist, so uh, yeah. Let's let's move on. I think we've seen the science lab, and I think that was m kind of the only thing that was going on on this floor. So let's find a turbo lift again. Oh, oh, oh! They're like, oh, you no, no, you go first, sir. No, you, sir. You go first, sir. Sir, no, I insist. No, I insist, sir. No, I go. No, you go. I go first. They all stare at me creepily. Stop doing that, guys. I feel like I've got something in my face or something. Cool. So that was that. Uh, let's see what else we have. Shuttle bay. This is less. Oh, well. You know, we could check the shuttle bay. The Arboretum. We have to check the Arboretum. We have to check Picard's quarters. Nine forward, ten forward. Stellar cartography. There are so many cool locations we have to check out. All right. Let's go to the shuttle bay. Uh, mm, uh, forward starboard. Shuttle Bay, POW. 
I think we go straight to the shuttle bay so we avoid running around in empty corridors forever. Oh, the light just changed. Did you notice? Suddenly, on the click of a button, the light was different. Auxiliary. Oh, here we go. I mean, this 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 is not how it looks. I mean, this is, I guess, one of the examples of how it looked on the plans, right? On the plans, it is this big, wide open space. Um, but in the show, the shuttle bay is, is much smaller because obviously you can't build a set piece that has this scale. And we get uh, these really cool shuttles. Look at that. It looks fantastic. Look at all the detail on those. That is a monstrous big shuttle. Holy smokes. Can I actually, can I go inside? Ah, no, I don't think I can. Or can I? No, all right. Maybe we can go into one of the smaller ones. Let me, let me check this out. It's not opening up, but you can see if you look through here that they actually did model the uh, interior. Oops, there was a bit of a freeze there. There is there is an interior inside. I don't know what happened there. Oh, oh! I think my weight when I stand on the front, my weight just pushes down the whole thing. I'm not that heavy. Come on, that's just not fair. Make me look that fat. Or maybe I have to. Do I maybe have to kind of activate this in order to get activate tractor beam? Oh, it'll open shuttle bay doors. That's cool. Oh, sweet. Space, the final frontier. Here we go. So I cannot fly out, yeah? Is that correct? I cannot fly a shuttle. Because I really want to do that. I hope I'm not missing the button. Because I would imagine that it's actually... Wait, maybe I can... Activate tractor beam. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, oh. This is a tractor beam. Can I tractor something with that? I don't think so. Those look good as well. It's a lovely gold texture. Oh, look, they just look like smiley faces. They're like, we are unbearably happy. Always. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's see if maybe we can find another shuttle that we can open up. Go inside. Oh, that's a cute tiny shuttle. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's a baby shuttle. Can't open it, though. What's that? Shuttle diagnostics. Oh, they're running a diagnostics, of course. Yeah, there's something wrong with the baby, the baby shuttle. It's probably too cute. Let's run a diagnostics. Cool. I didn't know that they had all these these different sized shuttles because in the show you mostly see this kind of size. Um, so there are those, and then there was the giant one in the front. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's neat as well. Can I can I cause a mess? I can. Of course I can. Boom. Ah, nuclear material. Ha, I, uh, who cares, right? Who cares? What is that? Look at this one. Wow. That actually looks pretty cool. That is my shuttle of choice. Sweet. Slightly bigger than the others, I think. Is it? Yeah, maybe. A bit lower, but it looks really cool. If Tesla would build a space shuttle, that's probably how it would look. What else? So we've got all these stairs where we can walk up. So I'm gonna gonna do that. It looks like there are like some lounge hangout place. What the hell is going on here? Can I ring the bell? Oh, I can. Cool. Look how it look how it responds. So this is clearly the the bell from some kind of ship, probably from the year 2364. That's what I'm guessing, at least. So they have that kind of in here as like a memorabilia piece. I love how that, that looks so realistic. Very good. Never saw this before. 
<clears throat> the United Federations of Planets. Yeah, I mean, you, I guess you need to have these kind of, you know, hangout spots if you have someone coming on board. And uh, you might want to just show them around. See, so have a little meeting here. So I'll just take this if you don't mind. Can I take it? No, I can't. Oh, damn. So meeting rooms, social crew rooms where you can hang out, little bar with a nice view down. Oops, now we're getting a bit of stuttering. With a nice view down onto the shuttle bay. Ships coming in and out. Sweet. I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. What else do we have? Can't go up yet. Oh, the sound when you walk against the shield. Check it. Ah, that is the actual sound it makes. Turbo lift. Control room. That's cool. Can I actually control something from here? Nope, it doesn't let me do that. Oh, activate tractor beam. Can close the shuttle bay doors from up here. That's cool. Okay. Don't think there's much we can do. Except for looking at all these gorgeous, beautiful panels. What's up with those guys here? They're just like, I was promised a place on the bridge, and now I sit here all day long. Well, you know, you gotta pay the price to be in the Federation of Planets. Cool. So that's pretty much the shuttle bay. Hope I didn't miss anything. Let's see what else we have. I wonder if we can go to main engineering. Or maybe they haven't built that yet. Have they built that? Main engineering. There it is. Yes, sir. So I did notice that the more you travel with the turbo lifts, the more it increases the possibility of a glitch or a crash. Uh, I don't know. Oops. Uh, right. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Creepily staring into nothingness. Nothing makes sense. Get us out of here, please. Ah, here we go. Main engineering. I've never been down here. Never, never seen this. Ah, oh, look at it. Oh, it's cool. Can open this. Get all kinds of tools. Let's repair the warp core. Let's do some important repairs. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, the warp core. So nice. Where's Jordi LaForge? Where is he? Must be somewhere down here. Oh, or at least Ensign Crusher. Where's Crusher? No. Oh, you can't go back here. Okay, interesting. Right. Ah, oh, look at all this. This looks so neat. It's fantastic. Can I go on this, this elevator? Is that possible? Just go up? No, it doesn't. Oh, it's beautiful. I feel like this does not have the right proportion yet. I see. I might remember wrong, but I seem to remember that they there were more of those ripples. But maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Minor detail. Who cares, right? Can't climb up, so I can't access the upper floors yet. But I mean, yeah, they nailed this. This look and feel as well. Brilliant. Look at that. That just literally looks exactly like the shot from the show. Oh, sir. That is a gorgeous mustache you have there. A absolutely gorgeous mustache. Let me see if I can open this again. What else do we have? What's this? It's just engineering tools, I guess. Ah, that's neat. Look, they modeled all those tools. Oh, look at my hand. What's that? Three fingers? Am I like a turtle or something? Where are my fingers? Okay, there's another one coming out around the corner there, but it's still only four fingers. What am I? What am I? 
Can't go there, maintenance. That is gorgeous, though. Beautiful. Look at look at those textures on the wall. They just look fantastic. So good. Brilliant. So that's uh, oh, can't I use use that turbo lift to go back to over here. Okay, so what's next? Uh, the control. I don't even know what that is. I want to show the arboretum. The arboretum. Sick bay. Oh, sick bay. We got to go there too. Picard's quarters. The arboretum. Let's let's do that quickly, because that's something you occasionally see in the show. Um, just yesterday, I, I'm currently watching ep uh, season seven. Kind of always re-watching it, and, and currently I'm back on season 7 again, so there are a few really neat scenes that play in the Arboretum. So let's take a look at that. Right, a few laps. Laps here and there. We also got to take a look at 10 forward. There's so much already in this ship that you can hardly see everything. Ah, oh, look at it. The Arboretum. Oh yeah, now I remember there was this, this episode with... Uh, uh, Oksana Troy, and then she kind of goes crazy and attacks everyone and screams at Riker for for uh, not marrying her daughter and all that. And there were some nice scenes in the Arboretum, which which kind of had a camera angle like this. It looked like that, and it's it's very very accurate. And there were some kids playing here, so yeah, I, I love this. It's fantastic. But just looking at the idea of an Arboretum like this. The idea that you're in a room and you're supposed to enjoy nature or like connect more with nature while you're in the middle of space in a room like this. That's just absurd, isn't it? It's, you've got a very strong mustache as well, sir. I'm impressed. I'm deeply impressed. Is that Magnum here? I know. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. I mean, look at the lush greenery. Like, they nailed that as well. It, it runs smooth, surprisingly smooth. I think you can put the uh, density of this greenery um, even a bit higher. But for the recording now, I wanted to leave it as it is. And, and look, there's wind. I don't know if they emulate wind in here. That sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Anyway, so that's the Arboretum. Use the tricorder. Do a quick scan. Yep, confirmed. It's the Arboretum. Nice. So we got that going on, which is nice. I don't think there's any, is there anything else on this floor? I don't know. I think it's just the Arboretum. So let's check out, yeah, why not? Picard's Quarters. Captain's Quarters port. Captain's Quarters starboard. And the Battle Bridge. Oh, there's also the Battle Bridge on this one. All right, we got to check all this stuff out. My God. This is way too long. I expected this to be like a five minute, maybe 10 minute video. But there's so much in this ship and on this in this project that you just spend a lot of time on it, discovering it, which is nice, you know, which is very nice. It's good they have so much content. What else can we look at afterwards? I was just thinking, what about the uh, holodecks? Do they have the holodecks? Holodeck, oh, there's the holodeck. Oh, there's so much stuff we gotta look at. Okay, cool. So let's take a look. Where is the captain's quarters? Captain Picard. Oh god. See, as you enter the the room, you're filled with respect and dignity. Like him. He is filled with respect and dignity too. Oh boy, sir. Maybe you should go to Sick Bay. Uh, you don't look so good. But who knows? Maybe he's a some kind of race that just looks like that. Who knows? Who knows on a spaceship? <gasps> There's another phaser! <laughs> this is actually my favorite part. <laughs> Look at them. They don't just fall down. They like just bounce around as if they're made from rubber. I love this. <gasps> it's the pipe. Oh my god. I gotta I got drop the phaser for a second. Pick up the pipe. Can I play it? I do. No, play it, bro. Ah, oh, shit. I keep screwing it up.
Wow. Wow. Sorry, I don't want to don't want to treat. Oh, it's just oh, oh, look at me zooming into that chair. It rolled under the under the uh, well, I guess it's gone now. <sighs> that that was a fantastic episode. That episode with the with the pipe. Um if you don't know basically what happens is Picard gets knocked out by some kind of alien ray and then he's basically for two and a half minutes unconscious on the bridge and in those two and a half minutes he's living a whole life like he's he's in his mind he's transported to a different planet and he's marrying and he has children and he learns to play this this pipe as well um, so it's an amazing episode really really good basically how Picard has a whole new life oh that bad as well I remember this looking slightly different in some episodes. There are some shots in some episodes where he wakes up and he's called over to the screen. Don't know if it's that. It looked a bit more like this terminal then. That was here, but I might remember this wrong. This is all just uh, stuff from memory. Can I not pick up the book? No. So yeah, but overall, I mean, the detail in here is, is fantastic. It's just nailed, absolutely nailed. Okay, there was something else here, right? What was that? Uh, what else was here? There was something here, no? I can't. I have to drop the phaser, which is a shame, because then when you use the transporter then you actually lose it shuttle bay let's check out the holodecks but wait wait there was the uh where was that picard's quarters and the battle bridge right where's the battle bridge we're right here battle bridge should be on this floor no nope, no you're gonna open this but it's just not here picard's quarters because quarters i cannot access the battle bridge from from his quarters. No, that makes no sense. Well, maybe it's still to come. Who knows? Let's go back. Okay, let's take a look. Where are we going? Where are we going? Sick bay. I want to see the holodecks and I want to see sick bay. Let's do that. Sick bay. Here it is. Oh, look. Back there is this crusher's room. Right. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks so perfect. Brilliant. Oh my god, that looks so much like the show. Is this a phaser? Can I cause trouble again? Won't let me do it. That looks so cool. Oh my. Like they nailed this. It looks so well. Amazing. What what is wrong with you, sir? Oh my god. These characters are just creepy. Also, this room looks so good. But again, I think there are like different versions of this room in the actual show where you might have two of those pods next to each other and it differs slightly. I think they they alternated it. Wait, I can actually put you down. Good night. <laughs> that actually works. That's funny. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. You're not feeling too good? Oh, I can help you with that. Yeah, don't worry. It's over soon. Nope. It's not over yet. No, nope. okay, it doesn't work with people who lay down apparently. But it does work with you. Nice. Surprise anesthetic. That's that's a fun game. That's something I would play in the future. We like run around and I ah you didn't pay attention. <laughs> See you later. Cool. So yeah, that's sick bay. And I believe the holodecks are also on this on this deck. So let's see if we can find that. I hope they did it because I've never seen the holodecks at all in this game. Hmm. It's so big, you know, you, you really lose oversight. Which is why I said you really should have like a map so you can see where you've been and what you lift? No. I don't think they I don't think they have the holodecks yet. Maybe it just states that the holodecks are on this floor, but actually they are not modeled yet. No. Okay, fine. 
So no holodex, that's okay. No problem at all. Let's go. Uh, by the way, the guys who, who built this, they do videos themselves where they explore the ships. And obviously they know much more. They give you really cool and useful background information. So um, maybe check that out, you know, because they discover all these little details. I mean, they, they build it so they know it, but loads of small details that I have no idea about, you know, they, they show that and reveal that in those videos. So it's definitely worth checking those out as well if you are a fan of this project. And now we're going to check out 10 forward. And I think then we're going to conclude it. I think I'm not sure we've seen everything. There are still rooms that we haven't seen, but uh, I think it's nice to end the journey in the tent forward, have a little drink with Sinterhole. You know, no real alcohol. We can't have that. Can't have that around here. But um, a bit of Sinterhole is always fine. Let's go. See if we can find Guinan, right? Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, oh. Oh my god, creepy dude, suddenly you're in the uh, in the turbo lift. Stop doing that. Oh wait, there's there's a big Oh look at it. <gasps> the doors. It is those iconic doors. No, I want to come in through the other side. Everyone always comes in through the other side, so I, I gotta do that too. Come from here. No, come from from here. That's the that's the place. Go away, sir. I want to enter the I want to enter ten forward without you standing there, please. Well, I can't do that. Oh, look at it. Drink it. Can't do it. I always wondered what's under those counters. The answer is nothing. That looks fantastic. So iconic. And so much love to detail. Look, look at that. I have no idea how this game is called in the show. Hey, you jumped. Did you see that? I didn't know they can jump, those NPCs. Don't know how the game is called, but yeah, we've seen it in many episodes. Can I pick a figure and put it somewhere else? No, sh shame. Cool. That looks fantastic. Um, yeah, and I think with that, guys, I'm going to conclude this. I'm going to take a seat here. Sit with that nice gentleman. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Enterprise D. If, if you're a big fan of the show like I am, then I'm sure you did. Uh, I, I will definitely keep an eye on this project whenever they release an update. I will download it and check that out. And maybe do another video if they do significant changes and it's worth kind of exploring it again. Then I'll do another video on it. Uh, until then, guys, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell, right? That's what people do these days because apparently subscriptions are worth nothing anymore. You need to hit the bell. So do that uh, to get new videos coming my way. Currently, we're in the middle of E3, so I'm going to do loads of videos around that. So if you care, then, you know, subscribe. Stay on the channel. It would be nice to see you around in the future. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being so patient for this very long video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.